Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be creating this um, smoky, golden, ready eyeshadow um, look for you using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, before we get into the video, I will say it is stunning um, and definitely you need to try it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I had heaps of fun at making, creating this makeup look for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right. Ooh. So I just got done <laughs> doing my eyebrows. And sorry if I sneeze or sniff the whole way through this video. Um, and my nose is just being like, blah, blah. probably should take an antihistamine. But anyways, so I am just gonna prime my eyelids using my Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot. One thing I will say about it first off the bat is that I wish it had a light matte colour. Um, obviously I know that it's really easy to just use like face powder or something but a light matte colour would have been really awesome. So to set the crease to brow one ear I'm just going to use um, a shade from my Sweet Peach palette which is called Peaches and Cream, that one there. So the first colour I'm going to take is this one right here. Unfortunately my palette didn't come with the um, shade names because I don't know but it didn't so I'm just gonna point out which ones I'm using. Um, so I'm taking that on a fluffy brush and just sweeping that into my crease. <laughs> Then on top of that, I'm going to take, I'm going to take some of this colour here and just build up the crease. And then I'm just going to take a touch of the first colour again and just blend the edges. I'm also going to take some of this yellow colour and just pop that in the crease as well to warm it up a bit. And I'm gonna take this ready um, orangey color here. I'm just doing this real light to start off because these shadows are super pigmented so you don't wanna go too heavy handed to start off with. And I'm gonna go back here with my fluffy brush, not taking any more product and just blend it out. Next, I'm going to take this lovely brown colour here on the same brush and add that to the crease. I'm focusing more on the outer corner with this darker brown first and then just like real slightly sweeping it in just so it blends in with the other colours. Um, and I'm just going to take that down onto the outer corner as well using that same brush. and kind of accentuate my outer V as well with whatever's left. Mm, now that I've done that, um, I'm just going to grab a flat brush. I'm gonna spray it with my Fix Plus. Just kind of flick off any excess. You don't want it to be like absolutely soaking. You just want it to be damp. Um, now I'm going to go into this gold color here which kind of looks really cool toned in the pan but um, when you actually put it on your eye it is such a pretty gold so I'm just going to start on the inner half of the eye probably like the inner third and just dab that on and then sweep it across to the middle and blend it into the brown colour alright just taking this blending brush again and not putting any extra product and I'm just dusting over the edges. So I'm just going to quickly um, run through my face kind of makeup because it is nothing really that new or exceptional. Just using my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and Smoothing before I put on my foundation. Um, 
say that was an Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, if you couldn't tell. And this is the Australis Banana Powder. Mine has come apart, but I still think it's a real good powder. Especially for the price. And then, of course, my MAC Studio Fix to so my entire face. I've been using the Lip MAC Studio Fix a little... Oh, God, I don't even know how long. Um, probably for five years now. I would say, no, even more than that, like six, maybe, at least six years, I would say. Going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. These days I like barely ever contour like properly. I'm just like, definitely into the softer look. Champagne Collection Face Palette, that is it. And I'm going to use my favorite blush in the palette, which is this middle one, it is called Amaretto. Um, I know, I barely ever use the other two because I, this one's too shimmery. If this, was one, if this one wasn't as shimmery, I'd probably use it more. Um, and then if this one wasn't as pink, I'd probably use it more. I'm just going to use some Champagne Pop, of course. Some on the nose. That's the one other thing about the Jaclyn Hill palette. I am not totally in love with these two highlight colours. They just are a bit too frosty for me. Um, I thought I liked a frosty highlight, but I actually just love a lovely, like, peachy, champagne-y kind of colour. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and use the shade Nectar. If you have a lighter skin tone or you love that, like, kind of really light, frosty highlight, then those um, highlights in the Jaclyn Hill Palette are going to be for you. But unfortunately, that's just not the kind of colour that I like to go for. First, I'm going to take a pencil brush and got this palette. Yeah, good, good that it has magnetic closure, but it kind of just makes it difficult to open sometimes. Um, with this brush, I'm going to go into. Hmm, I'm just going to go into this ready color on this pencil brush and pop that on my lower lash line. I'm just going to take some of this colour here and um, on my small blending brush and just blend it out a little bit at the bottom. On my definer brush I'm taking the darkest brown in the palette which is that one there. Just tap off any excess. Don't know why I've been holding that palette up for like the whole entire lower lash line. Um, but yeah I'm just going to press that real close to the lashes. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this brush on with the dark brown colour, that one. And just deepen up that outer corner again. Alright, now I'm just going to do my eyebrows. <laughs> So to top off this makeup look, I am just applying some of my favourite mascara, Maybelline Lash Sensational. I think I'm just going to stick with uh, my natural lashes today, but of course if you want to, you can totally apply um, false eyelashes. And I am using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Leon. This is like my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick ever. Well, and lipstick. I don't really wear normal lipsticks a lot because they come off. And I cannot be... I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to deal with like lipstick coming off. I just rather apply it once and then know that it's good.
last step is setting spray. First I'm just going to use a couple of spritzes of my Fix Plus just to make my um, powders settle into my face. Since I'm going to be wearing this makeup for the whole day, I'm using my Urban Decay uh, Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I don't know why this gets so dirty. Like, does anyone in else's Urban Decay Setting Spray get super dirty? I literally don't even know. It's not like my hands are like super covered in makeup, you know, like, they've got a little bit of makeup on them, but barely any. I don't know. myself in that. So guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope you like this makeup look that I created. Obviously the Jaclyn Hill palette um, can be used to create so many different looks. So I'm definitely keen to um, give a couple of different kind of color looks a go. I'd love to do a pink kind of um, eyeshadow look and maybe even like a greeny bluey I don't know we'll see <laughs> um, but yeah this palette is definitely worth um, the price point I reckon um, and Jacqueline did a great job obviously but anyways thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it um, and subscribe to my channel um, and leave me any comments down below if you feel like it I actually would love to start chatting with like subscribers or anyone else who just wants to chat about makeup or whatever in the comments um if you have any requests I guess or just like you know if you want to say hey um <laughs> so yeah I'll we'll see you guys next time oh quickly before I can't even talk. And I just realized. Lilla. Pain. Ooh.